we are having our the last ma- teaching on the mass and the question is what is the importance of the mass i'll try to answer that question within a few minutes here i've heard many many hours talked about that very question what is the importance of the mass i talked about in the very beginning of the mass that the definition of the mass can be found in two different ways you can, de- you can define it as being the external sense that we all experience as human beings through our senses, the standing, the kneeling, the prayers we said, the gestures that I'll do, we'll do here, and then the incense and the candles, etc. We can define it by that way, and then us coming together as a body of Christ there. But then we can also define the Mass as a deeper mystical spiritual sense, a mystery sense. And that is the defi- definition of the Mass being that is the, it is a sacrifice of Jesus on Mount Calvary. They're about to enter into. I think the importance of the Mass comes from that very la- that latter definition of the Mass. That, you know, so in the beginning, we were given paradise. Where we, where I should say we're given, yes, we were given life with God before Adam and Eve sinned. But yet we failed, we sinned God. And so he and he had a plan set up, but with us sinning that made his plan change, if you will. And so within that God, Jesus, God was merciful to us sinners and he sent us Jesus to help us know the Father to help us know of his mercy and his love for us. And within, then within that, Jesus came and, and gave us, well, he went through his life and death, his passion and death on the cross. And at the beginning of that, well, what we're about to celebrate here on Holy Thursday, of that passion, he gave us his body and blood. Sometimes we may think our, to ourselves, I don't experience you, Lord. I'm not, I'm not seeing you, Lord. I don't know if you're alive or not in my heart, within the world. But we see here within the Eucharist that Jesus gave us the everlasting memorial of himself. He gave us his body and blood. We have his real presence in the Eucharist. And it is that this mass that we get to receive that. We get to receive the nourishment and strength that comes from the Eucharist to live our lives for Christ. And without this mass, we would not have the Eucharist. Without this mass, we would not have the perpetuating sacrifice of Jesus on Mount Calvary, from which salvation flows. That's the importance of the Mass. Salvation comes from this Mass. We are experiencing heaven on earth during this Mass. That's the beauty of the Mass. The salvation that comes from the Mass. So if we come to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, we will be nourished by the body and blood of Jesus to help live our lives for Jesus. We'll also be able to partake in that that memorial of that sacrifice, that that perpetual sacrifice that Jesus instituted, that God wanted us to have as a memorial of that passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus so that we can live our life for Christ. We can receive the life of heaven from God, life of God in heaven, that is. That's the importance of the Mass, and that's what we're about to celebrate this week. I really encourage you to come to the Holy Triduum Liturgies. Holy Thursday, 7 p.m. here, be here. Holy Good Friday, 3 p.m., be here. Easter Vigil, 8.30 p.m., I know it might be late for you. Be here. 8.30 p.m. on Sunday, Saturday evening, that is. Easter Vigil. Because you'll be able to experience through these three days this passion, this life, passion, death, and resurrection of Jesus in a beautiful way shown through the liturgy. So as, come to, in this, so as we come to this altar, let's ask our Lord for a greater, greater appreciation of this Mass 
and really realizing the importance of it in our hearts. That we not only come to praise and thank God and worship God, but we actually get to partake in that sacrifice that saved us from our sins at this Mass. Let's thank our Lord today for that gift.